there. What's this? I hear you ask. Oh, <laughs> nothing. Don't worry. I'll, I'll take it off. Happy now? What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to the official worst channel on YouTube. Yes, I may make terrible videos, but at least I have the self-awareness to admit to it. Since last Saturday and that glorious day in London, where my team, Arsenal, beat the entitled, dreadful, absolute arseholes, Chelsea, by two goals to one, I've been wondering, what am I going to do with my life? I mean, my entire identity is built around my football team and now that there's no football for us to play until September, I just, I don't know what to do. And then I stumbled across a magical sport. We all remember Harry Potter, don't we? The books, the films, the other book that came out afterwards that wasn't quite as popular and JK Rowling's tweets. But forgetting all that, Quidditch! is actually a sport and I got to thinking well how can they fly around on brooms surely that's a big problem oh I see they're just gonna put some mop handles in between their legs and that's a broom but what about the snitch I mean that thing's just like a little flying bird ball thingy that zips around oh so it's they're just going to have a man with a ball sack hanging out of his shorts and you have to go and tackle him. Okay, well, well you know, obviously magic isn't real. Don't, don't tell my nephew I said that. But you know, there's got to be some leeway here and there. So I figured, let's today, we'll watch some videos about Quidditch and, you know, let's get into the spirit of things. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to have to educate ourselves on the rules of this wonderful sport. A Harry Potter inspired sport that's sort of moved away from that, that group to a large extent and become its own real physical sport. Okay, first thing, very important. It is a Harry Potter inspired sport. Just because they took the name and the rules and all of the goalposts does not mean that they're copying the exact sport from Harry Potter. It is Harry Potter inspired, okay? And it's totally its own thing now. Not just because we didn't have magic or flying brooms or any of that stuff, but because we wanted to do our own thing, I swear. It's sort of a, a combination between rugby, handball, water polo, with a bit of dodgeball mixed in for fun. It's a mix of handball, rugby, water polo, and a bit of dodgeball mixed in for fun. I mean, I don't know about you, but those are three very posh white people sports to play. So I'm starting to get the tone of what this sport is all about. Quidditch has seven people on each team. Uh, there are three ball handlers called chasers. They use the slightly deflated volleyball to score goals. I'd like to take a minute just to admire the man who has taken the brave stance to wear a cape during this game. If a sport involves somebody wearing a cape, then I'm sorry for your sport is... F your sport is a bloody joke. Three goals on each side hits 10 points no matter which goal you score through. Not to be a stickler for the fictional rules of Quidditch, but I do believe now... Please tell me if I'm wrong because I haven't read or interacted with the Harry Potter fiction in a while, but I'm pretty sure the center post is worth like 30 points. So why would you have three posts if they're all just going to be worth the same amount of points? I'm sorry, but that's absolute bollocks. And there's the snitch and seekers. The snitch is a, is a person who's not in either team and uh, they usually have a sock. Uh, hang out of the back of their shorts right back here and their job is to run around the area not just the field the whole area where the quidditch match is going on and by any means necessary avoid being caught by either secret so this is like we had a, a game when i was a kid growing up in ireland and i won't say the name of the game because it'll probably get me in in hot water it's nothing racist or anything don't worry but you would have two teams of that's four. You would have two teams of kids and 
basically each kid would have a letter that spelled out a word. So if you had four kids on your team, they would have a four letter word. And you would hunt down the other children on the team and you would mercilessly beat the crap out of them uh, until they gave up their letter. I'm getting very big that vibes from being the snitch. So now that we've watched that video and we completely 100% understand the rules of Quidditch, let's let's have a look and see uh, what it, what it's like in action. Okay, so I know I said that my videos are bad, but there's some shots in this video that just go on way too long. Like, why is this shot of a bundle of plastic sticks on the ground lasting for like 10 minutes? I would say real life Quidditch is a cross between uh, rugby, uh, dodgeball, you have elements of sort of Olympic handball, uh, and then when you have the snitch on the field, there's even an element of wrestling involved. So this guy said it's it's rugby, uh, Olympic handball, dodgeball, and a little bit of wrestling involved. I mentioned a water polo. So the guy in the last video, we can just say he's he's full of shit because this guy looks like an expert. He's got a lanyard on. bunch of people standing around in a circle wearing Union Jacks shouting UK 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 it's just giving me flashbacks I've got some serious PTSD from this I understand that people can get very invested in in fandoms and things that they enjoy and that's fine and I'm not here to like tell people not to play this game however it's it's Quidditch just bring it down to bring the energy down a little bit guys come on like it's it's not that deep bro and when it it's already grown so vastly but i think it still has yet to really break into a huge mainstream and one day it will and i think it has potential to be one of the biggest sports in the world so one day quidditch has the potential to become one of the biggest sports in the world okay okay let's dissect that for a minute uh, let's look at some of the biggest sports in the world, okay? Uh, football, rugby, tennis, golf, American football, baseball, basketball. These are all events that year in, year out, constantly, apart from obviously now when games are played behind closed doors and all that, but we'll just, like, that's that's an anomaly. Are you trying to tell me that this the, the Quidditch World Cup, which is currently being held on what looks like a university campus, and is inspired by an extremely niche subject is going to become one of the most popular sports in the world. This is what happens when those people who are like, oh, I'm such a Ravenclaw, just take it too far. Like, no, you're not a Ravenclaw. You're a 27-year-old admin named Amber who just got far too into this book for children. Okay, this is not going to be one of the biggest sports in the world. If, by some miracle this happens then you can cut this clip and you can send it to me and I, yeah, I will have egg on my face you can call me an omelette then <laughs> so we finally see a bit of in play action and what this is a this is just a mess I, I don't know what else to say other than this is I just don't get it one guy goes behind the goals and then the other guy throws it and then he just just slaps it. Just just slaps it like that. Oh, I don't know, man. Let's just carry on, I suppose. Nice little ass shot there of, of the guy wearing the snitch. I, I genuinely, like, you can just see from, from my energy in the last couple of clips, this is... This stuff is draining to watch. Just a guy trying to wrestle a, a fucking golf ball in a sock off another man. Oh, I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. This is, honestly, this is worse than watching Hudson versus Predator. At least there's a bit of entertainment value in that. So I played rugby and lacrosse in high school and uh, lacrosse in college. And uh, now that I'm a little older, uh, it's fun just to go out and play a game that I can still go and be physical. That man actually looks embarrassed. 
He played rugby and lacrosse in school. Oh, once again, I will say two very posh white boy sports. So, you know, Quidditch is once again showing its true colours. Um, but yeah, he just he looks he looks like a defeated man. He looks like like I do right now, except he could obviously kick my ass in a fight. So I'm not gonna you know I'm gonna make sure he never sees this. Which to be fair, looking at my numbers, he's probably not. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've seen all of the Harry Potter movies multiple times. Yes, I have. Why was he dragging that girl along the ground and then just taking her magic broomstick off her? Well, since when is that in the rules? What is it like? What the fuck? It doesn't make any sense. No matter what happens in this game, play our game and we will come out of it with an amazing outcome. Yeah. That's it. That's all that matters here, yeah? yeah. Go, yeah. go, go, go. Yeah. 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 Drop bears on three! One, two, three, drop bears! That is the words of a man who already knows that his team absolutely sucks and they're not going to win. No matter what happens in this game, just play our game and we will come out with an amazing outcome. The tactic can't really be employed in this fake game. So what else do you say in a team talk other than just just do what we've been doing already. Just throw the ball to the other person that hasn't got the ball and make sure that you don't get hit by the ball. And when the big sweaty man with the ball sock thingy comes out, just make sure you get it off him and make sure he doesn't drag you along the floor. There you go. I've just, I just, I've just given a Quidditch team talk. I could play this sport. I don't want to, but I totally could. Right, so what you just saw there was uh, one, an Austrian man, uh, not an Icelandic man, and uh, doing the Icelandic thunderclap that the Icelandic football fans do. Uh, no, sorry, no, you don't get to take that off Iceland. And also, the response was was dreadful. Here's how it's supposed to sound. pretty cool right like that 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 sounds awesome that's that like really gets you going and um here's the austrian quidditch version of that the snitch was supposed to run around the the whole area he just kind of stood there and the, the ball got snatched off him really easily so it looks like america wins the quidditch world cup it would it would be the americans wouldn't it they they would win this st stupid fake sport but let's see what they have to say after the game it means the world it means absolutely the world to us last time we came out here when we lost us and it killed us, it broke us. We knew we had to come back. We had to come back faster and stronger and harder than ever. That's what we did. After the last loss, we went back and we watched all the Harry Potter movies over and over again and tried to pick up some techniques from the people on the, the flying broomsticks. And then we realized that that was useless. So then we just started hocking balls at each other. And that's how we won the game. West Bromwich Albion supporters pour onto the pitch. This is what the dreams were about. This is what the prayers have been about all week. And Jeff Horsfield has the freedom of the town. Right then, uh, I think I have completely exhausted any enthusiasm I have to do anything for the rest of the day now um, by, by watching that. So um, once again, you can thank me for, for sitting through that instead of you guys having to do it. Uh, that's going to do it, obviously, for today's video because I'm not watching any more Quidditch and I don't think I'm ever going to watch the Harry Potter films ever again because that's all I'm going to be able to think about. So if you did like this video, make sure you give it one of them thumbs upies 
um hit the hit the subscribe button just hit that subscribe button please please I, I need those numbers i need the numbers the numbers they mean so much to me um but yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video um and we'll be back again with some more cringy stuff to watch in the near future okay Guys, gals, and non-binary pals, good luck. I'll talk to you later. Stay safe. Wear a goddamn mask. Remoraid, 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 Remoraid. Do you get it? Because it's, it's a Pokemon instead of saying Renegade.